Hello and welcome to the Critter and the Butterfly YouTube channel. I'm Matt, the Critter part of the duo. Today we're doing another one of our How We Did It videos. Our wastewater tank was basically lying to us and telling it was three quarters full when we knew for sure it was empty. So we had to take care of that. So grab a seat and a cold drink and stick around and see how we did it. Our 2011 Trail Manor 2720SL has been pretty good to us. We've done a lot of upgrades and mods, but we haven't had many maintenance issues aside from the usual wear and tear items. Well, our gray water tank decided to give us something to do and started lying to us. It would say that it was two-thirds full all the time, even though we knew there was nothing in it. So something had to be done. After some investigating, we came up with sensor fouling as the problem. We tried some unique waste tank center cleaner and the Dawn Ultra treatment that we read about with no change. Turns out ours were pretty bad, so it was time to replace the sensors. First issue, how to remove the old ones. So here we go. This method works with compression type sensors only. If you have spin welded sensors, then you'll have to drill holes for the new ones. The new holes need to be drilled at the same level as the stock sensors. If you have good access to the side of the tank, it's a pretty easy process. But I'm very glad they didn't use the spin weld method on the trail manners. So I thought I would look around the internet and see if there was an easier way to take these sensors out of the tanks aside from a pair of ice grips and a block of wood. And I found this. It was posted by a few people and it's pretty slick. So this is your sensor. It's what it looks like. It's sticking in the side of your black, gray or water tank and it's got a threaded part where the wires hook up to you. So all you do is get a wrench that's a little bigger than the size of the sensor. You get a washer or washers, and they have to be bigger than the size of the wrench, but close to the size of the threaded part of the sensor. You take one of the nuts off the sensor and put it back on. that then you take your ratchetable wrench or your socket and ratchet and tighten that guy up and what he does is it just t pulls the sensor right out of the tank just like that very cool now we'll see how easy it is because we're going to go underneath there and see how well this works. The removal went easier than I thought it was going to, being under the trailer and right next to the frame and all. We removed the top nut with a thin 3 8 ignition wrench on the bottom nut and another 3 8 wrench to loosen the top nut. Then remove the sensor wire. Use a 3 8 wrench to remove the bottom nut. Place the 5 8 wrench and washer, or washers, over the sensor. Thread on one of the 3 8 nuts that came off the old sensor and tighten the nut until the sensor comes out of the tank.
If the sensor doesn't easily come out, wiggling the wrench will usually coax it out. Three more to go. Now for what we replaced the old sensors with. So our probes have arrived. They are the Horst Miracle Probes. Woohoo! These are cool. Now unlike the old probes that we had, these guys, if uh, something got on the side of the tank and stuck to the probes, you get a false reading. With the Horsts, have a spacer, Teflon coated probe out to about there and in the very end of it is open so water level you'll get or liquid level you'll get but if you get accumulation on the side of the tank you won't have a problem. They go in the same way take the washers and nuts off put the sensor in the tank hole tighten the first one and the second one once you put your sending wire on so we're going to go underneath and install these guys and see what happens. The Horst Miracle Probes. The new sensor fits nicely in the existing hole in the tank. Put the included washer and one nut on the sensor and tighten with a 3 8 wrench. You're just expanding the rubber seal, so be careful how tight you make it. Put the sensor wire on and thread on the second nut. and tighten with the two 3 8 wrenches. Now on to the next three. Now we'll run a test as we fill the tank. Looks good. Next, check for any leaks. We didn't have any, but if there is one, usually tightening the bottom nut on the sensor a bit will fix it. Success! And that's a wrap. Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up there down below the video. And also click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload something new. Thanks again for stopping by and safe travels.